Hello, my name is Ghost Bones, and yes, the ghost is, in fact, in love with the bones. Real quick, just like, oh, the elephant in the room before we jump right into things. It's been a while, like a long time, without any kind of update, and for that I apologize. Uh, I have missed recording. I've just had a really, really terrible year that's only gotten worse and worse. I won't get into that too much here. Uh, I don't want to front load this with a bunch of, like, just random personal shit. It'll probably just leak out throughout the rest of the recording. Uh, or I'll make a dedicated update video. I don't know. But regardless, we're back with Resident Evil 7, uh, which we started the year with, actually. And it was, like, one of my surprise favorites of the year. I wouldn't say it was my favorite game of the year, uh, but it's definitely up there and definitely the game that I expected, like, the most- I had the most, like, changed impression from what I expected. Because I went into this expecting to hate it and finding it to be, like, a cheap, spooky, jump-scare thing that would be- I don't know, half amusing, but it ended up being fucking fantastic. And now we're back with the Last of the Story DLC, which just came out after being delayed way, way beyond when it was expected. So hopefully those pay off, but we have two DLC instead of just the one I was expecting. Um, well, we've known about it for a while, but when I was recording, of course, they announced the second, well, the first one, the Not a Hero. Uh, before we jump in, I just want to say from here, there will be Resident Evil 7 spoilers, all the DLC takes place after the end of Resident Evil 7, and of course I'm terrible with non-spoilers, so some of it will probably slip out even if it didn't. Um, so this is your last warning, uh, also because I looked at the screen and it does have a massive spoiler right there. So here we go! Okay, oh, yeah, I didn't know that. Um, I wasn't sure whether to start with Not a Hero or the end of Zoe, but End of Zoe's description actually says weeks after Not a Hero. Um, so we're gonna start with Not a Hero, which is of course about Chris Redfield, who is a recurring Resident Evil 7 character, a Resident Evil character, I apologize, I'm getting excited, it's been a little bit, it's been a little bit, I'm getting into it, uh, is a recurring Resident Evil character who shows up at the end of 7 and kind of like super confirms that the rest of the canon is at least slightly intact. Uh, not that I care, because the Resident Evil canon is fucking insane, uh, and I should go, like, just another warning, I don't know a ton, I haven't played the rest of the Resident Evil 7 game, Resident e I keep saying Resident Evil 7 games, but you know what, let's spin that. Resident Evil 7 is such a redefining that the series should be called Resident Evil 7. From now on, it should just be Resident Evil 7 2, I'm excited for. Um, but I have, like, tried to follow it just through reading through the information, and a lot of it is just fucking batshit. So I don't know all that much, but I do know uh, Chris Redfield punched the boulders. So let's get into it. I'm fucking excited. Also nervous. Oh shit, it has its own little screen. That's actually cool. I was wondering how they do it because obviously saves would be a problem, but the fact that it has its own. Uh, let's be normal. Actually, I have played this game since uh, I did my recording. I did a stream of Resident Evil 7 where I played through the entire game in one sitting. It was fantastic. Oh. Is it ready? Can we begin? Man, I can't help it, man. We've got work to do. Hey, Lucas, you look fucking terrible. <laughs> oh, shit, are we... No, okay. Oh, we're, so we're immediately back in. No, no. Ethan Winters has been secured. He's alive and well, considering. I'm Lucas Baker. Right now, he's our only link to the connections. He's next on my list. See, and that's weird that they would immediately know who Ethan is and kind of confirm some of the suspicions I had about him at the end of the game. Namely, that he is super infected. Obviously, Mia has... Although it could just be through Mia, because Mia is an operative. Or was. Hi, Umbrella. All right, I'm in the mine. Signal strong. You're coming through loud and clear, Chris. We didn't get much from the first unit before we lost contact, but apparently Lucas turned the mine into his own personal hideout. 
How many men did we lose? Three of our best. Their last transmission was near a lab that should be just ahead. I'm going to need you to check it out. Got it. Already, this is a very different game. <laughs> like... Oh shit, there's lore, lore dump right off the bat. Uh, but it looks like fucking Metroid Prime. For many of you, this is your first mission with us, so we wanted to make it clear what Umbrella is all about. Through many, though many of our staff hail from the infamous pharmaceutical giant Umbrella, our purpose is to make amends for the atrocities perpetrated under the Umbrella name. That is why we reincorporated as PMC in 2007. We will put a stop to not only anyone who is engineering or selling bioweapons, but those who support those efforts as well. We made a mess, and now we have to clean it up. By keeping the Umbrella name, we show that we take responsibility for that mess, and we want you to remember that you carry this responsibility with you in every mission. Alright. And a briefing document. Operation Lurking Fear. Primary mission, extract Lucas Baker. We're in Dolby, Louisiana, Baker Estate, okay. Molded, we know about the... Okay, anti-personal traps leaving. Uh, due to the lack of intelligence and to the number of unknown factors involved, Chris Redfield of the BSAA will act as a bioweapon specialist on missions. Recent intel has confirmed that Lucas Baker is holed up in the mines near the Baker estate. Suspected associate of criminal organization The Connections, roll unconfirmed. Holds vital intel regarding said organization. Okay, because that was something I was actually about to ask, because if Umbrella is doing the good stuff now, and they're against making bioweapons. I don't think Mia works for Umbrella. I think she works for the Connections, which might be the new face of old Umbrella. And this, <laughs> okay, it's it's gonna get weird with names. Um, so I think that's we. I I'm gonna hesitantly say that Mia worked for the Connections, and they were the ones developing Evelyn. Uh, profile the Connections. I probably should have read that. Criminal organization producing bioweapons for sale on the international black market. Limited intel on size, market share, and members. They are prime suspects implicated in the production and distribution of the E-Series bioweapon. E-Series model Evelyn is present and active at the Baker estate. Lucas Baker seems to be monitoring her and reporting on her activities. Okay, but Ma Mia didn't necessarily work for the connections because they could have been transporting Evelyn to, like, destroy her or control or... There's some weirdness, because you'd think if they wanted to treat Evelyn as an actual bioweapon, they'd secure her more than the way they did. Because it seems shady that they would just pretend she was a normal girl, when she could kill everyone in a second. Like, there, I have questions. Maybe these will be answered, maybe they won't. Uh, can I get rid of these? No, I'll probably just have to find a... Uh, okay, no, that's a health thing. Oh shit, is that a fucking... We just have grenades, and my hand looks really weird. <laughs> Holding that grenade, something does not look quite right there. Just got a stabby knife. Got the... Is this? No, it's it's a different version of the Albert, I think. No, the Samurai Edge AW Model 01. An Albert W model handgun designed for the sole purpose of eliminating bioweapons. Packs a punch. Model shotgun designed for the sole purpose. Okay. Semi-auto. So we have a semi-auto shotgun. I thought this was a rifle looking at it, but... Shit, nope, that's... That's a shooty gun. So th that was just... I apologize. That was like fucking five minutes of lore. But I real quick want to make sure like my shit carried over from... Uh... Where is key bindings? Want to make this? There we go. Uh, okay, all my shit d did carry over. Cool. Um, just want to make sure I have my right controls, because this is probably going to be more combat-oriented, based on the fact that we have an automatic, well, a semi-auto shotgun, an Albert handgun, and fucking grenades. No, like I was saying earlier, I did replay through Resident Evil 7, uh, on stream, on Madhouse, in one sitting. I don't know if I mentioned it was Madhouse. Uh, that was a fucking experience. But I feel like it's made me a much better player. We'll see if that actually carries over and I immediately miss a shot. Already, this is very much the end game of the main game. 
Because we're in the fucking salt mines and there are molded pouring out of everywhere. Albeit it feels a little less intense now that I've taken this on on Madhouse. The lab is just ahead. I managed Any to get idea through. what Lucas is up to down here? We're still analyzing the data, but it looks like he's been running experiments with an E-type butamycete. Let's hope those men haven't become a part of those experiments. Oh, so he's experimenting with making more EVs. Um, no, my, my playthrough on Madhouse was surprisingly good. Like, I did fucking amazing, I'll say. Uh, I went through mostly without deaths. The two areas where I died the most were the ship flashback and... Oh, shit. Duders. I'm getting you out of here. There's Leave a bomb me. on his neck. I saw a little it's flashing red light. Here. Yep. We're both walking out of here. I got news for you. What? That's not gonna happen. Oh, uh, I wouldn't uh, do that if uh, I were you. Uh, <laughs> I kind of want to do it. I don't think it would let want. me shoot, but I kind of want to do it. My hand might slip and. Lucas, no! Uh, 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 oops. <laughs> now here's the deal, Chris. You don't follow me. And I'll bounce your head off the ceiling. Oh, and the same goes for your little soldier brains, too. Adios. Moon chachos. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, that's very much infection. I'm picking yep. up airborne spores. It's the E-type mutamycete. Your mask will switch automatically to rebreather mode. Keep an eye on your oxygen tank to be safe. Oh, shit. I wanted to loot that last room because I thought I saw stuff, but if this is fucking go time, I don't want to risk it. One thing I just started worrying about is if there are, uh, Your oxygen tank is at 50%. different endings. Looks like you're clear of any contamination. You should head back and get that bomb on your arm deactivated. There's no time. I don't want to give that asshole a head start. Understood. Just be careful. No, because I'm afraid if I'm missing stuff, then I might potentially get a different ending. But we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Oh, hi. Fucking molded. Okay, shotgun review. Fucking shiny. Alright, get the fuck out of here. Your oxygen tank is at 50%. Thank you, nice voice lady. Okay, how do I get the fuck out of here? Oh, no, it's auto-elevating. Fresh Chris, mag. we finished analyzing the data we intercepted from Lucas. It's like we thought. The son of a bitch has been sending status reports on Evie to the connections. Find him and bring him in. We can't let this happen again. Are you sure you just don't want to recruit him? <sighs> Chris, we've been over this. Maybe the BSAA is convinced. If they weren't, I wouldn't be here. But working with Umbrella is going to take some getting used to on my part. I know it must be difficult, and to tell the truth, a lot of our members have been with us since even before we reincorporated as a PMC. About all that's left now is the name. Let's just focus on the mission and maybe we can continue this conversation when you get back. Okay? Sure. Whatever. It feels weird. I'll say that much already. Just from that little brief introduction and from what I'm assuming is coming, like a combat-oriented extension of Resident Evil 7 is weird. Because I think... I, I, I'll just say it again, because I think I said it before, but I will, it bears repeating. I adored the combat in Resident Evil 7, uh, because it is slightly clunky. Oh shit, I got my defense coin. I'll take that and set up my books. Um, I love the combat in Resident Evil 7 because it's a little clunky and it feels like you're genuinely someone who doesn't know how to handle all these weapons. And like you're panicked and hurt and fucked up and I love that. That seems like a trap. That seems like that's gonna add, like activate that boring thing. I don't mean like boring like dull, I mean like boring like drilling. Oh shit, maybe- Ooh, a frag. Uh, this looks- will this be like a hub or something? Because there are coins exchanges for stabilizer and steroid yep so I'd wager that we're gonna be back through here um I mean none of the doors are open but there is a red and a blue door and I've played a video game ever oh that requires a key 
Yeah, so uh, my guess would be that's going to be end game. We'll get a key from one or both of the doors, who knows, and then go from there. Plus, this seems like a nice... Oh, and there's also a green door. Oh, I can just open these. Cool. I'm just worried about how we're going to take care of the whole fucking arm thing. You okay in there? Redfield? Don't worry. I'm going to find a key to this thing and get you out of there. Good talk, but I, I do have that sense of urgency of you were probably about to die. One thing I do like already about this HUD, although it, it's weird because it's simultaneously a little sparse and really busy. I feel like I like the elements of the HUD that are required, but like the helmet stuff that's just for looks is kind of annoying. Uh, but I do like that the HUD gives you the information on the air and actually shows your health on screen. Um, one thing, one criticism I had of Resident Evil 7 was that to check your health you had to basically pause your movement and being able to check your stuff while moving would have been really nice. And so just having that information on screen is such like a little quality of life improvement. Alright, you're pretty much dead. So. Oh shit! He just exploded. I hear him. Oh no, you! That's what I heard. Okay, that is- that's a little glitchy. <laughs> Fuck. There we go. Oh, I don't know how that exploded the rest of his body. Oh, except you know what? It is the Albert rounds, so it is doing something to the whole bioweapon deal. to figure out what the deal is here. I didn't actually catch that. There we go. I might have to check how to punch because I want to fucking punch the shit out of some molded. I got more creepies. Are they just going to keep coming or is that the end of that encounter? All right, looks like we're good. Real quick, I want to check the fucking dealio here. That's not where I need to be. Uh, key assignment. Let's see, switch, strafe, where is punch the shit out of molded? Uh, <laughs> I'm not seeing it. Yeah, those are for, I'll figure it out. Already I'm a little low on ammo, so I should probably stick to knife for a while. Unless I find like a nice stash. Well, that's block. That's that. Because I did do a punch, but it was like while pressing the right mouse button. That's fun to do. I wish I could turn on a light. Or maybe it's like contextual punches? I don't... not sure. But I did get a crank and some neuro grenades. So that's like a... It's a stun grenade and I'd assume... I was gonna say an area of effect grenade, but, you know, it's a fucking grenade. This is trap. Shit. Yep. Oh, well, not, not as bad as I thought it would be. But I will have to crank that shit, I'm assuming. And I'm assuming that turning that crank will then cause bad things. 
Also, the fact that I keep seeing that face. Oh, you know what? I thought it was, I thought it was a different face. It's now like a human face. I was seeing that big center as like a, like a, almost like a uh, cyclops type deal. But no, it's just like a scary face. <laughs> 